Hello everyone and welcome back to another Ethan Journal video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys my daily technology and basically my daily items that I have with me pretty much all day, every day, um, especially when I'm going on a school day. Some of these items I don't bring with me to school, especially my wallet. I don't want to bring that to school with me. Um, but I'm just going to kind of go over my daily things that I have that are mine that I own. Otherwise I would actually bring in my school iPad, but because I don't own that, I'm not really going to count that as my daily technology, even though I do use that for school, except the fact is that it's provided by the school. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay everyone, so to get started, I'm gonna, this is my notebook here. Um, this is actually a notebook that you can buy. If you head over to ethanryman.com, you can actually buy these notebooks. Um, I actually designed them myself and I printed them myself and I have quite a few in stock right now. So if you guys would like to have your own My Notes and Ideas, Book, you can check it out at my website. I'll have these linked down in the description. Um, mostly what I do in this notebook is I kind of use it as a journal some days. Other days what I'll do is I'll use it as a to-do list. Like as of today, um, we have a to-do list for our uh, Easter party. So I had a to-do to list in here uh, listing all of the things that I have to do to get ready for my Easter party. Um, that we're gonna have at our house tomorrow. So and after that um, in the back we have I have drawing space with dotted drawing and then just some blank pages um, Like that. So if you guys would like to pick up um, One of these again. I'll have it linked on the description below Moving on. I guess I could cover my phone. Um, this is my iPhone SE second generation I've had this since 2020 um, when it first came out. I, I bought it in like Something like three months I got it as a birthday present after it came out and since then it's probably been one of my favorite phones that I've had in a long time um, for the past two I, for the past three phones that I've had I've actually had an iPhone only two of them the last one I had before this was an iPhone 7 which I had to switch out with this iPhone SE because of the problems that I was having with cellular issues which I guess the iPhone 7 was pretty much known for having so I upgraded to this in 2020 as a birthday present that my family bought me and since then it's worked really nicely and I'm hoping to keep this alive as long as possible because it doesn't have face ID hopefully if I need to like replace the screen I can still do that I don't ever use true tone so if Apple does take true tone away from me that's okay but I'm pretty good I actually have not broken any phones in my life actually I should take that back um, the phone that I had before my iPhone 7 was a Motorola, I think it was like an, um, a Moto E5 Cruise, I think it was what it was called, and I broke the screen on that after two weeks, um, which I had that phone for probably about a year and a half before I got my iPhone 7. So yeah, that's my phone. This has uh, 128 gigabytes of storage, and um, I use it a lot for photography. Maybe the next one I'll get will probably be one of the pro model phones um, because I would like to have more features for camera recording. Moving on to my Apple Watch, I actually got this last August. Um, another birthday present that I got uh, for 2021, um, but I did actually I did actually help pay for this. This is my iPhone. Uh, not iPhone, uh, Apple Watch SE. Um, I really like the SE. The only thing that's sad about it is it does not have the, uh, I forgot what it's called. It's like the heart rate thing. Um, ETH, uh, post-production Ethan uh, can you put in what it was called it's like the thing where you like you hold down on the side and it tells you like your pulse I forgot what that's called but I would really like to have that in the future and I can't even use it till I'm 21 because that's when Apple turns it on so it really doesn't matter and I'm not I don't think I'm gonna have this till I'm 21 years old I'm probably gonna have it hopefully the next uh, three to five years because um, normally what I do is I try to if possible keep most of my technology items especially my mobile devices for at least three to five years. Um, my computers I upgrade every 10 years because the last computer I had before my M1 Mac mini was a 2010 iMac. So yeah, that's that. Um, this is my battery that I have. Um, it's a really cheap one. It's from Heyday, which is a brand that essentially it's like a Target brand. I don't think actually Target owns it, but always by the checkout booths, Target, um, which is a retail store near us, um, they always have this Heyday brand and I just really needed a battery for one of our trips. I bought this it said, and the only thing, the only thing about it that I did not like is it said on the box, 4,000 milliamp hours, but actually on here, it says power bank capacity, 2,300 milliamp. So they were really lying on that. And if I would have checked the box, it says 4,000 on the front. Um, but if you actually look on the back of the box, it actually did say 2,000 milliamps. So, I mean, that's okay. It is 2,300 milliamps. It's able to charge up my iPhone SE pretty well most of the time, and I do use it. I just keep it in my backpack because throughout the day, my phone does die, even though I'm not using it during school at all, which I find really funny. Um, 
because that was one of the things about the iPhone SE is it's known for not having the best battery life, which is why I actually ended up buying this in the first place. And the last thing that I carry with me on most daily basis is this wallet that I got. It's like a horse themed wallet that my great grandma got me a few years ago. I really like it. I can't tell if it's real leather or not, but it feels really nice. Um, mostly because I don't have a credit card yet, I just keep gift cards in here. My Marathon County uh, library card, and I essentially do most of my uh, buying stuff with either Apple Pay through my phone or um, via cash, which I normally do. So, all right, everyone, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm looking forward to doing at least one of these every year so you guys can see how it progresses and how my daily technology changes throughout the years. I am on quite a bit of a budget, which is why I don't have much stuff that I carry with me on a daily basis. Once I have a bigger budget and to be able to get cool technology, hopefully in the future I will have more things to share with you guys. So thank you guys for watching this quick YouTube video. I'll see you guys next episode. Until then, have a great day and goodbye.